Major setback for India's first moon mission, Chandrayaan-1, which has suffered a critical malfunction that may jeopardize the remainder of the mission. In fact, speaking exclusively to Times Now, ISRO Chief Madhavan Nair confirmed that a key sensor on board India's moon mission had malfunctioned. However, he maintained that Chandrayaan-1 had achieved all of its mission objectives before the malfunction was detected in May. In fact, speaking to Times Now, Madhavan Nair admitted that while there was a technical snag in Chandrayaan, the moon mission's objectives would not be obstructed. Uh, you know the spacecraft is uh, going around the moon. Its orientation is uh, primarily depend on uh, the location of the star related to the spacecraft. So there is a very sophisticated star sensor on board. Uh, this has been working very uh, nicely all these days, but uh, due to this uh, thermal and radiation effects and other thing, uh, about a month back, the star sensor got the problem. So that means the primary source for fixing the orientation was lost. But at the same time, we have redundant sources like the gyroscope on board, but gyroscope by themselves cannot give the correct accuracy. So we have uh, evolved an innovative procedure by which uh, looking at the Earth, uh, especially the Bailalo ground station, we refix the orientation uh, maybe once in two days. And that has really enabled us to restore the spacecraft uh, in its full form. So today the spacecraft is working as expected and the images are being taken regularly and we hope this uh, operations will continue for some of them. So the full mission, no, it has 11 uh, instruments. So and also in the first quarter, no, already they have made the experiment, one cycle is over. So I hope that it will not really impact too much on the total scientific outcome. Propulsion system which keeps the, maintain the orbit and also adjust the orbit periodically. So that is for the mission requirement they will be adjusting. It is never, no, because when we are, you know, this is like one of the L board, you know, what I would say. And we are lucky to really reach, you know, almost the full objectives. Because you are first time doing that complex mission. You know, so many things have to come into place and they have successfully done. So really that way I think this will not compromise any of the program. At this juncture, when mission has already completed seven months and uh, mission life was supposed to be one year around, uh, and whatever their sensors were supposed to trace the moon surface, they already must have got huge amount of information available with them. There is always a contingency plan, and uh, these sorts of glitches do occur in these sorts of missions. You need to have the communication with the probe on the moon. And I don't think so that there is any problem with the communication technique as such, which has been devised and developed by ISRO in this mission also. There are chances that one or the sensor may have failed. So I think maintaining into the orbit and not missing the communication link with the Earth are the two major functions which first ISRO will and then subsequently by a certain amount of uh, other techniques, they will try to see which sensor exactly is malfunctioning and what data they are not receiving. Chandrayaan-2 mission is already in, uh, under progress and there you got a slightly different take where a Russian, uh, with the help of a uh, Russia, you will be putting a probe onto the surface. Anya, if I can come to you first to begin with, uh, what exactly is the mal malfunction on board the Chandrayaan and how is it going to obstruct the working of the moon mission? Well, Niharika, the Chandrayaan-1 is India's first manned mission. Now, it has on board something called a star sensor. Basically, the star sensor is a key sensor which controls the orientation of the spacecraft. Now, there's something called a star sensor and a gyroscope on a Chandrayaan-1 which actually helps the orientation of the spacecraft. Now, in May 2009, scientists in Israel discovered that the star sensor had completely malfunctioned, that it was not helping the spacecraft to maneuver uh, in space. So, now, what Israel did at that time was they developed two local sensors. They immediately put up these sensors on the Chandrayaan-1 uh, using an antenna mechanism. They also used the two gyroscopes which are already there on the Chandrayaan-1. So basically what happened is that the star sensor which is on board the Chandrayaan-1 has failed because right. of thermal radiation. Now the ISRO got in damage control mode. They did two things. One, they changed the orbit of the Chandrayaan-1. 
two, they put into place two uh, other sensors. Now, what does this mean for the mission? The first thing, of course, will the experiments be completed successfully? The Chandrayaan-1 has many missions which it has to complete over the period of two years. Can this be completed fully? We do not know. Madhavan Nair himself, if you notice, said in the end of the interview that we hope that the mission will continue at least for right. some more time. The second question, of course, will the mission complete two years? That also remains to be seen now. That's how it's going to be a